what can we say that we have here? Well, very easily, we can say that it is skin, because even at this power, you can recognize an epidermis, you could recognize some uh, stratum corneum layers, you could recognize the papillary dermis between the uh, reti pegs of the skin, and then you could recognize a denser, more uh, thick banded uh, collagenous bundles of the reticular dermis. Doesn't look terribly bad so far, does it? Oh, we can see an area here, for example, that looks like it is infiltrated by some kind of inflammatory cell. And we can also recognize the fact that if we go to a uh, area like here, a sweat gland, which is nicely labeled for us, we can see that uh, you can't recognize cellular detail too much. There appears to be some granularity, uh, coagulative necrosis, perhaps some hyalinization over here, and hyalinized tissue here, some granularity within the cytoplasm here. Hard to make out uh, outlines of cells in many areas. Why might that be? Well, if we keep looking around at the skin, you can see that there is a very, very thickened arterial vessel here in the deep dermis. And I think you could see another area, uh, besides having a thick uh, atherosclerotic uh, vessel here, in which you could see some degeneration of the blood wall. Here's another area. in which you may even say that there is a thrombus within an arterial vessel. This is not congested blood. This is fibrin. This is infarcted skin because the appearance of the skin is basically one of coagulative necrosis. Uh, you could probably call this dry gangrene. There's a lot of confusion between dry gangrene and wet gangrene. But if you think of gangrene as being infarcted tissue, whether it's skin or bowel or anything else, whenever the appearance has a lot of fluid, blood, fibrin, congestion, hemorrhage, something that would look wet, usually in the earlier stages of the pathologic process, you could call that wet gangrene. With time, when the uh, hemorrhage, congestion, uh, fluid, uh, hyperemia, it uh, turns into a more chronic process by perhaps having coagulated tissue, dry fibrin, fibrous tissue. This would be more consistent with a dry gangrene. Dry gangrene is generally a later stage than wet gangrene. And because we do not have too much by way of fluid here in any way, shape, or form, not much hemorrhage, not much edema, just coagulation necrosis, you call this dry gangrene of the skin. And it is very nice that we can see the reason why we have uh, a uh, thrombus uh, within a fairly good-sized blood vessel. Thank you very much.